Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina and on my channel I share everything and anything. There is no niche here, I sell, I sell, I share reaction videos, I share a little bit about my life in vlogs and even about my monthly resets. So like this video is the very last monthly reset and we are using my product. If you're new here, you don't know about my product. <laughs> it's called a monthly reset, which I sell on my online store, which is called kivana.co if you'd like to check it out. And um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, please go check out the playlist that I called monthly reset. I'll put it on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about if you're new to my channel. And I can't believe we're here, guys. I can't believe it's been 12 months with using my very own product and it's a Sunday evening but I just had to get this out I just had to get this out because it's a lot of emotions and I just want to share it to the world share it to YouTube that I did it I did it I did it 12 months of journaling so yes um, I'm very bad at keeping short intros but let's get into it and like I said check out the playlist monthly reset or even comment on this video if you'd like to know about, know more about this product okay a journal that i created over a year ago and started journaling in it a year ago so the very last month we filled in is actually a conclusion month and excuse if i'm whispering it's sunday evening 9 p.m 9 p.m we're getting things done so that's what it looks like for the very last month i mean look at it i'm getting all sentimental Last page, last page, oh my goodness. We did it guys, we did it. Okay, my conclusion last month, so the end of June, it's actually the 30th of June. Very, I left, I left it at the very last bit, minute, didn't I? My reflections after filling in this book. I wrote here, how quickly one year has gone by and how much I've accomplished in these 12 months even with all life's challenges and setbacks. That's my reflection, that even though it was one step back, it honestly feels like two steps forward. It does, it, for me it does. I am most proud of these accomplishments. I actually wrote one accomplishment I think here. Journaling for one whole year, that is what I'm most proud of that once a month for 12 months I've taken time off to focus on my dreams and my goals. So I'm most proud of just journaling. That is what I felt in my heart. Of these 12 months I'm mostly proud of journaling because it made me reevaluate, rethink, pick out all the distractions and focus on what do I want for me. I'm grateful for getting up and trying again with all the setbacks and progresses trying for a better future for my family and me that's what i'm grateful for that there's so many things that we can control honestly every living human being can control certain things a try at least you know try at least to get some rest try at least to be surrounded by people that are good for you try at least to try to eat healthier try at least to save money i mean we we've, we've got a lot of potential in all of us we honestly do notes a lot more notes <laughs> i wrote here i've read through the entire journal and my priorities varied slightly they were mainly the same and that is totally okay the realization is that I truly want to feel and be in balance and calmness in my life. Movement for my body, sleep and water for energy, including intentional food, financial priorities, business progresses, basic priorities that I need in my life. Simple but very easy to get distracted. I've come a long way. I've grown so much in this one year. So many challenges and yet a lot of clarity to what is important in my life and in my future. A clear vision, no fuzz. I know what I want and it's only me and myself sabotaging thoughts that can stop me. It might take longer than I want, but I just got to keep on going and believing in my potential and my worth. I'm th I thank myself for progressing instead of waiting on perfection. 
We did it, guys. We did it. We did it. It, it, it's, this is a milestone for me. I haven't journaled like this ever, where I have discipline and I get it done for 12 months. Even though it's just a few minutes once every month, I did it. And I'm so proud that I did it because I do journaling on my notes app, on Notion, on, um, I have a, a little paper notebook but this kept me accountable. And I don't want anyone to feel stressed in any way if, if, if you've bought in my journal, but you kept a promise to yourself. This journal is definitely less is more, simple, stress-free journal. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, there were some moments where I thought, I don't have time for it. But once I did it, it only took a couple of minutes and I kept a promise to myself. Maybe I didn't move my body as much as I wanted to at a certain month, or I slept as well as I wanted to because life be lifing. But I kept a promise to myself to fill in this journal. So whether you use my journal or whether you use someone else's journal, honestly, the tool of ventilating pouring your heart out on a piece of paper or in digital, on a digital product, just remember you're doing it for you. No one else is forcing you to journal your thoughts and your feelings. You're doing it for you. And honestly, we have so much potential within all of us. We just need to focus on this. Find clarity, listen to our heart, take out all the distractions, rest, work hard, realize that we're not always here forever, that one day the sun will set on us and we won't get a sunrise again, so to say. That all the elderly people around us, if they could give us the advice, if you're younger, so to say, what they wish they did in their lives. And I want to finish off this video by if you don't know what, what you want to do in your life, it's okay. It's okay, but you don't have to have the most fanciest career or house or boyfriend or whatever. What I'm trying to say is that, what do you want? What do you want? What gives you the most joy? And focus on that. I don't mean you need to have it as a career, but do things that make you happy. But also balance is key, you know, it is key. Do what makes you happy. Listen, listen to what you feel, but also get those mundane everyday things down in order because we don't make the rules, we have to follow the rules. But I hope you try to understand what I'm trying to get at here. Be happy, so planning out, it doesn't have to be like, you know, so, so strict, but having some, some, something to see for, look forward to. Sorry, I got something in my eye. Having something to look forward to is just a wonderful thing that not many people get to appreciate or even get to experience. So everyone, thank you for watching the very last monthly reset video. It's been fun, 12 months of sharing my monthly resets and monthly reviews. And I can't believe we're here. I know I keep repeating that. And I just have to say thank you for all the support. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for giving me your pep comments and pushing me on. And I just have to say thank you, thank you, thank you. There, there are no words. Another thing is that I have to say that is that I'm taking a break from my monthly reset sharing on YouTube because I have very exciting projects along the way that I need to put this one person team into work so you'll see other stuff on my channel um in the near future here because i really need to have a break from this um i mean i can do it off camera but i don't have the time to film and edit and upload and promote right now but you, if you're interested you can still buy this journal on my website that has not changed but what i'm trying to say is that when it comes to sharing my resets and reviews i have to have a break because there's so many exciting things going on 
because like you, like me, we are going to create our happier selves. We're going to create gold. We're going to have fun. We're not going to let other people's judgments stop us. If it makes us happy, we are going to do it and we're not going to get all messed up in the head by other people's comments and then resulting to us self-sabotaging our thoughts and questioning our judgment and our intuitions. We are going to go for it. So keep an eye out of the exciting things that I'm going to show you on my channel, both as my personal brand and even with my company. Skincare products, skincare products. Did you hear that? <laughs> and more. Okay, everyone, take care. Be you. Breathe, walk away, go for a walk. It, we love the internet, but sometimes it can be too much. Take a break, take a few steps back. What do I want? Let it breathe, let it settle, and then go again. Take care always. Take care. Peace.